when you sit down as a writer, it's such a sort of solitary experience to begin with. Did you go to some dark places while you were writing this? <laughs> I sure did. I mean, like, really dark. Uh, really dark. I mean, um, yeah, my father got sick and passed away, actually, in the middle of me writing it. So I couldn't have gone darker. No, actually. no darker. I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it was, but it was uh, it was one of those beautiful experiences where I got to spend a lot of time with him and uh, and, and then come back to the script with this new perspective of time. And so it, it was dark, but, you know, there's there's lightness around those edges. I mean, I definitely put some personal in there, but I just thought, you know, who would be most interesting to watch uh, sort of face this strange landscape and, and you know, and, and, and who would be fun to come across and everything. But, um, you know, I just, uh, yeah, that was about it. Just thinking of different people, kind of, and, and, and what it is that they would learn. Oh, my God, everyone I love is here. It's ridiculous. Um, mostly my mother just, like, creeping behind, taking pictures. So it's very cute. Um, yeah, no, it, just, it, it was just sort of fun to explore all the different kinds of characters and how people would cope with that kind of news. And there was a really sweet scene with, with Steve where he's like, I'm looking forward to the stuff I don't have to do anymore. Is there something that you would really love to not have to do anymore? Like the dentist, for instance. Um, well, the dentist I would never miss at all. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say there's certain obligations that you, you'd want to get out of, but I, I'm lucky enough to like my job, so there's that.